Are you looking for a fun treat to make with your kids this Halloween season? Today I'm going to teach you how to make the Wizarding World of Harry Potter pumpkin pasties. Hi, I'm Sam, the Budget Family Travel Mama. I am here sharing everything that I've learned in my 12 years of counting with you of how to travel with your family on a budget. Thanks for joining us for this DIY. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the Wizarding World of Harry Potter pumpkin pasties. And I have my resident Hogwarts student here to help me make these. Brooklyn, would you do me the honor of helping me getting into my robes so we can start this recipe? Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Brooklyn. So let's get started with what you're going to need to make this recipe. For this recipe, there are a few ingredients that you're going to need. You are first going to need pie crust. Pumpkin puree. A fourth a cup of butter and one large egg. Now we need a fourth a cup of milk. Next we need a half a cup of sugar. Now come the spices. We're just going to quickly run through the spices that you need. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a fourth a teaspoon of fresh ground ginger, fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, and one teaspoon of vanilla. A couple items that make this recipe a little bit easier to do are a tablespoon cookie scoop and an empanada or hand pie press. This is the medium size, that's the one that I prefer to use. Now let's get on to our recipe. Brooklyn, if you wouldn't mind getting our standard size two pewter cauldron ready, Perfect. First, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So to start off with, you want to make your pie filling first so it has a little bit of time to kind of chill in the refrigerator. So we're going to start off by adding two cups of pumpkin puree. What do you think? That looks weird. Ew, it kind of stinks. Next, we need to add one egg. Brooklyn, you want to add it to the pot? sugar. We need one half a cup of sugar. Next is one teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and add that to our potion, Brooklyn. Then we need one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg, one fourth a teaspoon of fresh ground ginger, One eighth a teaspoon of ground cloves, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one fourth a cup of whole milk. Now we're going to give this a nice mix. Looks like it's time to make some more pumpkin juice. If you're interested in making pumpkin juice, check out our video in the corner. All right, so now it's time to get our dough ready. You ready to go? Yeah. So now you're gonna wanna take your pie crust out and roll them out so they're nice and thin. That's enough rolling. Let's get out the wand. Perfect. Now it's time to cut out our circles to use for our hand pies. I have found that the best thing to use is actually one of these little bowls. These are from Target, they're like 50 cents. I'm sure you probably have a bowl around your house that will work. It just needs to be the same size or a little bit bigger than the hand pie press. Looks like we're getting about four out of this one, but what I will do is we will take extra. We'll roll out the extra again. Repeat this process with the second roll of dough. Okay, 
we just got back from grabbing our cauldron full of pumpkin. And now it's time to put our hand pies together. These are the hand pie presses. You just open it up. It's got these little ridges. Place the pie crust on the edges and just press down lightly. I like to press down the center before I go to the edges so that I know it's not gonna split open in the back. Now we need to take and get scoop up our pumpkin puree and put it into our mold. Ready? Good. Go! Sometimes I like to squeeze it like this, and then what I do to make sure that they're closed is I take the dough on the side and just pull it off. until the end of the process. The last thing that we need to do is we need to take a knife and put little holes in the top of our pasties so that they don't explode. Okay, now let's take them and put them in the oven. And then you set the timer for 25 to 30 minutes. Thanks so much for watching guys, we'll see you again.